you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 10th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 11 verses 11 to 15 Truly I tell you, among those born of the woman, no one has risen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John came. And... If you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah who is to come. Let anyone with the ears listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ Jesus. Jesus today has high words of praise for John the Baptist. John had a unique role which sets his name. apart from all others he was the one to announce the long awaited arrival of the messiah john is the last in the line of the great old testament prophets men who spoke in god's name pointing the way for god's people at times denouncing their behavior and at others pointing to a great destiny ahead john is an old testament figure but he forms a kind of a bridge between the old and the new testament <clears throat> the new testament or covenant was sealed with christ's blood on the cross john never saw that he never was fully a disciple of jesus and so jesus says even the very least in the kingdom of god inaugurated by jesus is in a more privileged position than john John was not able to share in the abundance of life that was released through the death and resurrection of Jesus as every believing Christian can do there are at this point some strange words from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent are taking it by force the meaning is not immediately clear but it seems to refer to those who are using violence to prevent people from entering the kingdom and pulling away those who have already entered in the context of uh, matthew's gospel this could apply to those jews and others who were bitterly opposed to jesus and his message and who both tried to prevent people entering the christian community or try to make those who already members all to effect this we know from the letters of st paul was happening in many communities and it is still happening today sometimes with violence persecutions sometimes in much more subtle ways john 2 is described as elijah who is to come we know that prophet elijah did not die a natural death he was carried off to heaven in a chariot however it was a jews belief that some day he would return to leave this earth in a normal way and join the dead in sheol but the important point was that his return would be the immediate prelude to the arrival of the messiah in calling john elijah jesus is clearly pointing to himself as the messiah Yes. In calling John, Jesus is clearly pointing to himself as the Messiah. And so Jesus says, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Those with the real insight will know what Jesus is saying. They will listen carefully to his words and recognize Jesus for who he really is and accept him. as lord amen may god bless us